Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. So CMU 1.9.0 has been released to the public, the link to it is down in the description. So whilst you download that and get ready to install it using this setup guide right here, let's go over some of the changes that have occurred in this version. Okay, let's jump straight into some of the general changes. The mouse cursor is now hidden in full screen mode if you do not move your mouse for 3 seconds. A bug has been fixed that caused keyboard hotkeys to be ignored and they have added logging for input API which means they can easily debug issues with controllers in future. Okay, let's move on to some of the new input changes. They have added a new interface and profile system for controller configuration. Added support for X input controllers is now added to CMU, and key mapping now features a new key rollover system, meaning you no longer need to individually select the next key you want to remap, instead it rolls over to the next button and allows you to quickly map your controllers. Improved implementation of VPAD control motor, the rumble features, has been added. They have improved the gyroscopic movement via mouse controls by adding the third axis to the click on the mouse wheel. And they have added APIs for cross-stick emulation, button repeat and touchpad calibration. Okay, so let's move on to some system changes. They have added the first steps towards accurate account and me handling within CMU. They have added an API for creating a console account and updating your select me's and they have added preliminary support for system app library. This will be responsible for title or game switching within CMU in the future. Okay, let's move on to some of the GX2 graphic rendering changes. They have added a debug option to toggle the Breath of the Wild crash fix workaround that was added in CMU version 1.8.1 T1 and CMU version 1.8.2. An experimental debug option to force full GPU-CPU synchronization has been added to CMU. This can be found in the debug menu in the form of GX2 Draw Done. However, it must be noted that this full sync at GX2 Draw Done debug option is a potential fix for some Breath of the Wild issues, mainly crashes, but also other timing related issues like freezing animations on enemies off in the distance or the camera not recognizing objects correctly. It is meant as a replacement for the Breath of the Wild workaround introduced in 1.8.1 T1 but at this stage it needs more testing to work perfectly. Okay, let's go over some of the game improvements that we have seen from 1.8.2b to 1.9.0b. Shovel Knight's co-op compatibility issues have been solved, meaning you can now play this game fully with one of your friends or a partner. In similar fashion, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze has also seen its co-op compatibility get fully supported. You can now play fully through this game using co-op. Bayonetta 2's flickering problems have seen a significant improvement using the new GX2 Draw Done option. You can see here that when I enable it, flickering is significantly less, meaning that the potential issue that is hampering this game is related to GPU and CPU synchronization. Cheers for checking out the video guys, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.